If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew, and today we're comparing two of Godzilla Evolved figures from Godzilla Caught in the New Empire. Today we have Godzilla Evolved, the standard release with the Heat Ray, and the Godzilla Evolved with Heat Ray with the Diorama set versus Shimo, of course. This is going to be the third video of this little mini comparison series we're doing of the originals versus their repaints. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So first and foremost, we're going to start with the sculpts and paint on the heads, which as you can see, they share the exact same mold from head to toe to the tip of the tail. Everything is essentially the same. <laughs> we have all of the uh, orange paint for the eyes, the kind of like eggshell paint for the teeth, and the same kind of pinkish tongue and orange spines that leads down to the red dorsal plates, and even some like olive green for the underbelly and where it meets the neck, and of course, the entire thing up here at least is made of soft plastic for both of them. However, the main difference is going to come in the form of this beautiful blue paint that's going to be on the bottom jaw and all throughout the, the bottom of the neck, specifically where it meets the gills and kind of transitions to the underbelly. I will say it looks a little heavy-handed, on the, on the repaint, but it definitely at least gives it some new variety as far as pure paint goes. And it even kind of complements the much more darker aqua, not really aqua, like almost dark turquoise blue type color, because it is kind of greenish. And that I do like. And it also kind of enhances, at least on the sides here, uh, some of the more crisp details that you wouldn't be able to see without it. Versus here where it's like more of a mild spray. It is worth noting that there is still a spray underneath there. It's just that it's painted over. You, can, It's very hard to see, but you can kind of make out the remnants of green where there would be on the neck, say, right around here. So overall, not too much of a big difference, but again, it's still there. Next up, we're going to go to the chest and kind of like the big arms, pretty much the torsos of both figures. And as you can see... Again, sculpt and mold-wise, they're the exact same thing, but one has a much more olive green type finish and some olive green nails, which actually kind of look more like God's old God's nails done than anything, versus here where we get more of that beautiful light blue and even some like subtle gradations of like dark blue where it meets his armpits, and it actually, again, looks really, really nice. Very vibrant and very poppish on the shelf, and this is something you probably want. Let's be real here. <laughs> but, of course, um, we do have, again, still the same paint, olive green paint. Uh, it's not painted on this nail. Well, it is painted on the nail. It's just the blue kind of covers it up. And even, like, going up to this nail, or these nails, you can kind of say the same thing. And, like I mentioned, there's still olive green paint underneath there. So, they again, just took this figure, or copies of this figure, and just painted the blue on there. So... Everything that you see here is still present here, just covered up. We do get some more like that spray, which kind of again gives like a glowing effect, which I think is pretty much what they were going for. And it looks fantastic. And even here, it still looks very nice, especially with like how it kind of stops and then kind of transitions in, into the shoulders and doesn't look like he's wearing a vest. So if there's one thing I have to commend Playmates for, it's that they actually made the color somewhat have some subtlety, which I like. And just to quickly comment about the feet, literally nothing is different. They both feature the same olive green that's used, and uh, they both feature the same sort of detail patterns that go all the way down. There's really no blue on the lower legs. There is some on the top, but not so much like, at, like a whole thing of blue. So it's primarily more on the upper body. Speaking of which, we have the sides of the body and the dorsal plates, which as you can see, the dorsal plates are the exact same. And the sides of the bodies are pretty much the exact same, aside from the blue. And kind of a missed opportunity to paint those, um, the uh, elbow spikes. Like, please make one that's actually painted. I mean, no, it's not really painted because uh, it doesn't have them. I was about to say, does the uh, Titan Evolution have them? No, it doesn't even have these elbow spikes. Which is weird because on the box, this thing has them painted, which I can actually grab it and show you all. Uh, just, yep, there we go. It's painted right up there. 
So why it's painted there, but not here? I guess I'll never know. Prototypes, maybe. But still, it looks great. And uh, mine is like, kind of like the more flat detail here. But again, still looks fine. The dorsal plate's still the same, translucent gummy red plastic. And it looks fine. There's really no differences with that. And finally, speaking of no differences, we are at the tails. Which I want you to try and guess which one's which. Is this the original? Or is this the original? Is this the repaint? Or is this the repaint? If you said this was the repaint, you would be right. Anyway, yeah, there, there's basically no differences. They're painted the exact same, like, te uh, not teal. Um, definitely more salmon orange type paint color. Definitely a bit on the more iffy side, when, especially when it transitions to the fins. In person, I don't really mind it, but it's there. It's got its few headaches. But overall, still looks fine, especially the Thagomizers. I think this just is painted better. And also, something I kind of want to make mention of is specifically the plastic quality. This could just be on my particular copies, but something I kind of find interesting is specifically, this guy has a much cheaper feel than this one. What do I mean by this? Well, let's see. This has a very thick rubber head. This actually has a bit more of like malleability to it. Like this feels like I can swivel that thing. I can kind of swivel it, but it's not like it's not as malleable as it should be. Uh, these arms really also feel very malleable, very squishy. And even though it is true that they're like rubber, these ones feel a bit more stiff. And it especially comes down to like the legs. This actually has some sturdiness to it and doesn't well it is definitely hollow but it's not feeling as hollow as this like this just feels cheaper i don't know how to describe it. this leg just feels cheaper and also the tail is way more bendy like i'm barely putting any effort into this versus here where it's actually a bit more riggedy like i'm not touching this side of the figure, and uh, yeah, I'm able to move the tail versus here, where if I just move the tip the same way I would be, that tail's not moving, so, I don't know what it is about the build quality, specifically about this guy, but it just feels a little cheaper than this one does, but overall, for the sculpt and paint, it's, again, a given, this one has much more blue paint than this one does, so that's essentially the only difference, but it's fun to pretty much fit the two. Next, we're going to talk about articulation, which again, nothing's really changed. Hinge at the jaw, no swivel. I know I just swiveled it, but it's on a square peg, so don't even try. Swivels at the shoulders, which I want to just make mention. Do keep uh, in caution when you're swiveling these, because you could very well scrape up the paint. Uh, limited swivels here at the hips. They won't go full 360, but they will go at least a decent bit. Uh, swivels here at the feet, and a ball joint here at the base of the tail. So, again, both figures have the exact same posability. Nothing's really changed. So, at least that's one main consistency. And one more similarity is going to be these beam effects, which, as you can kind of see, um, we actually have the original, and this is the repaint. Am I going insane, or are they two different shades of orange? I might be going nuts. I'm literally just looking at it now. Does this one look more red, and this one look more orange? I honestly think I'm going nuts, but either way. Let's uh, plug in the original ones. Heat ray. There we go. Very good. And uh, let's plug in this one. So there's really, again, no real difference between the two. They both feature the same splash effect and the same beam effect. So there you go. That's pretty much the accessories. Okay, so yeah, I can kind of come to the conclusion that there is some differences with the beams. Specifically the color. This one looks more orange. Me spinning. This one looks more orange. This one looks more red. Very interesting. Now that kind of leads me to believe that that's the same thing with the, the spines, because they are made from the same translucent plastic. Anyway, that's a whole different story for another day. 
So, overall, what is, like, the general consensus for this Godzilla? These two, at least. I think that these Godzillas are pretty good. Um, even though that, like, the differences are very minimal, aside from a few color changes to this one, plus a tiny bit of differences with this one, and maybe the pot oh, crap. Uh, maybe, like, the plastic quality? I don't know how I managed to flip this entire thing over unintentionally, but... Yeah, that's really about it. It is true that this guy comes in a set with some crystals, a, a Shimo figure, and uh, some rib cages, but I'm only counting what's with the Godzilla specifically. Not just for the set in general, for Godzilla himself, including himself. And when you really stack it down, the only real main difference is going to be the color. Um, he features the exact same base colors, just with blue paint on him. So, if that's what you're looking for, funky repaints, go for this one. If you want something a bit more standard, this one's the way to go. But, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Like and subscribe. Oh, I think I just subscribed already, whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.